Hey guys, guess what we got? That's right, you see that BK logo. And it is August 8th, it is the launch of the Impossible Burger. Or the Burger King version of the Impossible Burger, the Impossible Whopper. Well, somewhere in here we have the Impossible Burger. We got large fries. This is, I'm not gonna go and not get some fries. Uh, this might be the Impossible Burger. Oh, this is the Impossible Burger. Impossible Whopper, check it out. I got a regular one, so we can actually, you know, have a fair comparison. And they gave me a bunch of ketchup. Ketchup! Oh, more ketchup. Miso, if you don't get out my face, Burger King about to have a cat whopper. No, buddy. I love you, buddy. I'm sorry. I would never. Okay, let's do a visual inspection first after we eat a fry. Miso, it's the Impossible Whopper. Okay, I know this isn't a fry critique video, but that's kind of plain. I mean, I respect the game, Burger King. I respect, you're like, I'm not going to load it down with sodium. I'm going to let you dig your own grave, but... I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a I don't give a I don't give a fuck. Delicious. Let's check out this impossible whopper. I got like the double double bacon whopper and got them put impossible buns on here. Now you can see they're like very very regularly shaped. So, I mean, yeah, it's made by a machine. It's for, I mean, the beef ones are made by a machine too. We got our cheese in here. I think these ones are, tastes like a veggie burger kind of, tastes burry actually, but we'll get into a fuller review in a second. But I think these are made with like soy protein and some other stuff, canola oil. Um, which is weird, because a lot of the other like substitute meat products coming out around now, like the Beyond Meats and stuff, uh, they all advertise that they're made with like pea protein. And they specifically say on the packaging, like, no soy added, or like, no soy. Uh, which I don't know why. I don't know what the big deal about soy is. Like, why is it a negative? It's just because people don't want to be soy boys? Like, I don't care. I'll be a soy boy. I'll be, you know, better yet, broccoli boy. I like that, broccoli boy. That's my new, new username. We're going to change whole YouTube, broccoli boy. And it's only going to be broccoli videos. After this one, of course. So let's get out. This is the regular, regular baking king. This is the double baking king with the impossible whoppers. Oh, there's still some cheese. Still some cheese on this wrapper. Regular single baking king. Got our tiny bit of bacon on there. Sure, whatever. That'll be our comparison. Visually. Bacon King's a little bit lighter in color. They're almost exactly the same shape. The Impossible ones are a tiny bit rounder, which gives it a bit more of a mechanical vibe, less appetizing, but it doesn't play in taste yet. Not that the Burger King regular patty looks like, you know, that doesn't look handmade or anything. It's not like a huge step up, but hmm, I don't even know the order of operations here. Should we start with the, let's start with the Impossible. Hmm. It's actually a nice, a nice amount of flavor there. I can tell it's not beef. There's a little bit of spice. The texture is good. Now that was one of my complaints before when I was trying cooking my own Impossible Burgers, was that the texture, well, I can tell that they tried to get a texture close to like ground beef patties, was still a little bit off-putting in comparison to a real burger. But in a fast food burger, fast food burgers already have like weird, overly processed meat textures. So it works, you know. Let's have a bite of this one, see how they compare.
Mm. Definitely tell this one is beefier and fatter. You can taste that animal fat flavor that you don't get in this. But this has more seasoning to it, more flavor to it beyond just fat and greasiness. And I'm very relieved that these actually look different and that Burger King got my order right in giving me the impossible patties on this and a regular beef patty on this. I was afraid they were going to give me all meat or all or all impossible patties, so I couldn't do the comparison because I don't really trust Burger King anymore, even the lady who helped me behind the counter. is very nice. Very nice. Seemed a little bit confused what I was doing with the substitution of the impossible patties, but it's the first day offering them. I completely understand. And I think on their screen, she was like saying that it shows up as uh, IMP. It just says imp. And I guess no one's ordered one yet. They don't know what that means yet. Maybe I was their first impossible whopper of the day. I was there right as like lunchtime started. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Definitely more flavor in the impossible whopper. Now I think like this double stack is still like 600 calories. So you're not saving a ton of calories. It's not really a health food, but that's not the point of it. The point of it <clears throat> The point of it is that it's far better for the environment to eat plant-based products. Because the raising of livestock is insanely resource expensive on the world. And beyond just the resources they use and, you know, land, food, fuel, the amount of pollution it causes, animal waste, emissions from equipment, emissions from animals, methane, that's huge too. Mm. I still like the regular, the regular patty here as much as I can like, you know, a regular fast food patty. I think the standout fast food patty right now is the, um, the new, or it's like new in the past year, quarter pounders, the fresh never frozen at, um, well, I think that's the fresh never frozen is like a trademark of Wendy's, but the, the fresh beef patties, the quarter pounder patties at McDonald's are one of the better, if not the best, fast food burger patty you can get right now. But the Burger King regular patty is still pretty good and is much better than like the regular patties at McDonald's, those thin pucks that use at McDonald's that are apparently beef. They do not taste like it. But, honestly, Unless I was maybe inebriated or hungover and just wanted a greasy, greasy bomb. If I wanted a greasy bomb, I would order, you know, a triple stack of these with bacon. Because there's a little bit more moisture to it. The texture is a little bit better. It falls apart more in your mouth. But flavor-wise, the Impossible Burger wins out. Cause there's just more complexity going to it. What I think is the necessity of the burger. They have to season it up. Yeah, I feel like there's some onion, maybe a little garlic, pour salt, but not too much. But they have to season it up because otherwise, you know, it's just this plant protein creation made to emulate the texture of meat. But it can never, you know, truly emulate all of the taste. But the seasoning makes up for that. It is a touch dense and a little bit drier. And you can even just kind of tell that by, by looking at the texture from the, the bite view here of the, the regular Whopper versus the Impossible.
But even... Good job going to the bathroom, buddy. My cat just took a shit. But even though it is a little bit more dense, I just do the same of that, like I'm getting more free food or more food for what I paid. Ooh. And with that density, it's certainly filling. You will not be starving after this. I know it'll be tempting for a lot of people to think of the Impossible Whopper is like, oh, this is just for the vegans, this is just for the vegetarians, this is just for women and weak men kind of thing. And I know other words that people in the Midwest will use that I will not use on this channel to describe the kind of person they think would order an Impossible Whopper. But for everybody, it tastes good. The environmental benefits are great and important to the future of our society, our country, the humanity as a whole. I say give it a try. Let it be your gateway drug into more plant-based meals that may not necessarily have to be meat emulating. I need to make some vegetarian sandwiches for you guys, actually. That's what I need to do, because I can make some good ones. I appreciate what replacement meats are doing for getting people who wouldn't eat vegetarian to shift their dietary consumption more towards plant-based diet. But also, I feel like there's a larger problem that somehow just eating plants has become viewed as less American, less manly. Which I have no idea why that needs to be the case. Plants are wonderful and I think you can be perfectly manly eating some broccoli or eating a a delicious eggplant sandwich or something. Man, eggplant parmesan, I could go for that. And that's not to say I don't like veal parmesan, but eggplant parmesan is delicious too. Oh, I am filling up. But I'm going to eat all my food because I'm not wasteful. I appreciate the gifts of this earth. That's why I'm trying to be a good steward of them. And unlike me, if you do believe in a God, Wouldn't you believe that this gift of a world that was given to us should be appreciated and taken care of? Not destroyed? That's what I would think. But my Riesling, my Riesling? I don't have a thing of Riesling, I wish. My reasoning is even simpler. 
I just want to survive. Oh, my tummy is hurting. I think I'm still feeling the effects of the flat tummy calzone that I ate yesterday. Had a lot of uh, laxatives in it. You guys will see that video maybe in a few days. Oh, I gotta edit it. I'm gonna have to do all my editing on the toilet. It's not to follow these burgers. These burgers are great. I just had a lot of laxatives in the video I filmed yesterday. Mm. It's nice to go back and take some bites of the the real cow flesh here. Just for the fattiness, but... You know what I would do to balance that out if you're ordering the Impossible Burger? Just get two slices of cheese instead of one. Double Cheese Impossible Burger, I think, will win out. It'll add in the creaminess, add in the fattiness that you're kind of missing a little bit. I think that's the magic recipe. Mm. Oh my god, yeah. Pressure drop. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, that was good, guys. Hope you liked our review of the Impossible Burger. Yeah, try it yourself. It's pretty good.